right. I'm not quite sure what this church is. It could be St. Giles. Because it's by St. Giles Street. Unfortunately, it's not open today and it looks like it's got some fantastic um, stained glass windows inside. You can just see from the outside that they look pretty good, you know. It's not open. You'd think it'd be open on a Sunday, wouldn't you? There's Norfolk Family History Society over there. Go and have a look in there. It won't be open, of course. It's Sunday. It's just oozing history. There's the cathedral again. Roman Catholic one, built by a bloke in the 18th century in memory of his wife. This is probably is St. Giles, and it's got lots of good stuff inside. I'll have to come back, maybe. But really, I need to find St. Martin at Oak. I'm just going to do a small video of this one because it might come in you might find family here eventually anyway Tuesday and Friday mornings it's open welcome to St Giles live in peace St. Giles on the Hill. We've just been, it's actually gone a graveyard. I didn't try the door, no, it won't be open. Some interesting little statues um, there. He's carrying, looks like a Deer. and she's being swallowed by a monster a snake and she's stabbing him with a sword I thought that was quite interesting it's very hot today by the way it's the 22nd of April 2018 and it is very warm there's a, there's a, there is a wind We might have a splashing of water later. Now someone's, yeah, that's right, there might have been statues here and here in the past. That's right, usually they've been moved inside. Yeah, here's, um, I won't go all the way over. I went all the way down there. Well, I could do actually just to get a view of the church again. But there is an Atkins, a John Atkins here and, um, one of the Hysons married her, Ann Atkins. Well, I don't know if he married her here. It's just early history on the Hyson family at the moment. I'll just go back down to this bit. This is even a grave there sticking up. Yeah, it's not very good. It's in the sun there. I got stung by nettles, but it's, they have eased up. <sighs> but I thought that was quite nice, quite a pretty little graveyard there with them um, backing onto the houses as well. And it looks like the people who live in the houses come out and put a few flowers out. So then there's some lovely blossom at the moment because it's spring. 
It's all very pretty. There's another picture. There's a big green dome thing on the top that you can see from a distance. A bell, I think that is. And this, they do have bell ringing here on Tuesdays. Um, I think they said it's open on Tuesdays and Fridays. But unless I've got anyone connected here, I won't be bothered coming to back, coming back to do it. <sighs> what I've done at the moment, I'm just done a couple of more churches in town, and I'm going to go. I'm looking for St Martin at Oak because that is definitely that is definitely. mentioned in the record. Pretty flowers, look at that. Forget-me-nots. They're snapdragons, the other ones. And that's, uh, it's all looking quite, quite happy in a strange sort of way, this graveyard. So it's got a lot of roads, Norfolk, uh, Norwich. It's busy. <clears throat> it's very busy. And, uh, yeah, I sat on that little bench a minute ago and had a drink of water and a fruit bar. <sighs> Look at those tulips, aren't they pretty? Because there's so many churches, a lot of them can't keep up, and they've, made, and they've been made redundant as well. Right, over and out for now. <laughs>